What up, YouTube? Today we bought the RTX 3070 Ti. Manly, the Chinese brand. And surprisingly, it's super good. Let's check it out. Now here we're unboxing the 3070 Ti, the Manly brand. The first thing you're gonna notice when we take this GPU out is the cheap plastic material. It's okay, for the price of $890, this won't be a problem. What we're focusing on in this video is the overall performance of this graphic card. Now, as you can see here, this graphic card has three display ports and one HDMI input. This graphic card needs 16 pin power cable, 8 times 2. Unfortunately, the GeForce RTX writing on this graphic card does not light. This card has no RGB or lighting whatsoever. But it's acceptable for the price of the graphic card. Now, let's see how this baby looks like inside the case. So now, let's see the performance of this graphic card. Now as you can see here, I've been searching for some Unichin Heaven benchmark. And I found this guy on Tom's Hardware. He bought the ASUS TUF Gaming Overclock RTX 3070 Ti. And these were his scores. Now, he's running this uh, graphic card on an 11th generation i7 11 1700K. So we did the same settings as this guy did, and the results were so similar. Let's check them out. Okay, so these are my results over here. Same settings, direct 3D11, 1080p, 8x AA full screen, custom ultra extreme. So. The frames per second, as you can see, is 184.3 on my side, on this side, 184.5. 4647, 4643. Minimum FPS on his side is 47.9, sorry. Minimum FPS on my side is 43.2. Maximum FPS on his side is 418.0 minus 404.2. I think it's pretty good, you know, the frames are similar to each other, I mean, you can tweak the graphic card a little bit on the MSI Afterburner, we didn't do that, everything was stuck, and uh, let's see the prices of the ASUS TUF game. Now, just let me tell you that this video is not sponsored by anyone, especially by Manly, I'm just doing this video because I think that a lot of people uh, deserve to know that they can actually afford to buy a graphic card in these hard times where there is huge shortage in these GPUs for a cheaper price than these other cards. Okay, so let's see here the prices for the ASUS UF gaming. It's $1,200. $1,200. That's without shipping. And here on this website, it's roughly $2,000. Now, let's do the math for $1,200. Easy, man. Uh, it will be 310, but let's do it here. 1,200 minus, minus $890. $310. Now, that's up to you guys. I know that uh, Manly doesn't have RGBs, uh, the fans, they don't stop spinning ever, that's uh, that's not good, but it won't ruin the fans, you know, because 
um, the rounds per per minute are not that high, you know, because it's on idle, and with when it's on idle, uh, the temperature is about 38, 39 to 41, 42. So that's not big of a deal. So uh, yeah, like for $310, you can decide if you want to have a graphic card with a brand name or a graphic card with a RGB or some light on the writing RTX. Force RTX. I think this card does have it. I don't know. Maybe this this here lights up. GeForce RTX. And yeah, this logo over here. Uh, so if you think that's worth three hundred ten dollars more, then that's up to you. For me, I'm really happy with this graphic card. It's been amazing. And uh, for the final part, we're gonna talk about. Uh, temperature on this graphic card so <laughs> let's talk about the temperatures now the reference here will be player unknown's battleground and you know how shitty this uh game is when uh we're talking about uh being optimized imagine that 3070i and 10700k overclocked to 5.1 gigahertz Still get frame drops. I'm talking like it goes down from 144 to 90. Anyways, so I use ultra setting, and by the way, it doesn't matter what settings you use, there will be frame drops. So uh, I use ultra settings, everything on max, render scale on 120, and uh, the maximum temperature that I got using this GPU. Is 73 Celsius. Now I've did like a little bit research on the web and I found out that these graphic cards tend to reach about 80 to 85 Celsius. It's just a, a really powerful card, you know, big card. And uh, the maximum allowed temperature on this card specifically is 93. I think it's the same for most of the cards, but on this card it's 90, 93. So I can say that the temperatures are really good. Also considering that uh, the room temperature here is about 26 to 27 Celsius. So maybe in the winter it will uh, the temperature will drop. Uh, so let me just say that I personally took the risk of buying this graphic card. Why? Because I searched on the web on YouTube, on, on Google, uh, everywhere for this graphic card. I just wanted like one reference for this graphic card and I didn't find any, you know? So I just decided like, I have to buy this card to find out. And that's why I'm doing this review on this graphic card. So you guys can uh, know that this card is not really bad. It's good, especially for the price it's perfect you know uh, of course it's LHR light ash rate uh, so yeah that's everything uh, I hope this video helps you if you're planning on getting this graphic card then I think you have all the information that you need if you have any other question please feel free to ask uh, you don't have to like or subscribe I rarely do videos like that <laughs> uh, unless manly decided to make me a sponsor anyways a reminder this video is not sponsored by anyone this is just to help you guys um, know more about this chinese brand thank you for watching if i get another graphic card of this brand or any other t brand <laughs> i'm gonna uh, do another review thank you for watching take care